to ease. But for most people, their hip joint structure does not allow full rotational range for the thigh bone and a blockage is created. Exercising improperly or too aggressively may cause serious damage to the knees. Under normal conditions, the position of the lower limb joints during the lotus pose is a combination of hip flexion with external rotation and horizontal abduction. Kinesiologically, the normal range of hip rotation is 60 degrees. When sitting in the lotus position, the range required for external hip rotation is much greater, and in order to perform the position correctly, a range of 100 to 120 degrees, for most people, the hip joint structure does not allow the thigh bone the full range of rotation. The femur can no longer continue to rotate outwardly. When the thigh bone ceases to rotate, the only way to raise the foot is to create strong knee rotation. Anatomically, the knees are not built for this movement. The normative range of external knee rotation is only 40 degrees. If the exerciser continues to pull the foot upward after the hip joint has stopped external rotation, or if the student or teacher gives the knee a strong downward push, the tibia, shin bone, and femur, thigh bone, will act like two levers that exert tremendous force on the knee. Like two long screws, they will pinch the medial meniscus of the knee. 